Hello, it's Jake from Texla, and today we're going to be teaching y'all how to buy a Twilio number. So what you're going to want to do is go to this phone numbers tab on the left, click the drop down, go to manage, and then click the drop down, and then you're going to want to click buy a number. Now that's going to take you to this page, and there's quite a bit of information here. So we're going to go through it pretty slowly and make sure that you all can understand what everything here means. Country is pretty self-explanatory. That's just the country that your number is going to be from. And we're going to go over the capabilities real quick. So first we have voice. That just means one-to-one -one voice communication, like talking on the phone. We have SMS, which is just text messages. We have MMS, which is very similar to SMS, but it's sending content like a YouTube video or something like that over text. And then last we have fax, which I'm sure everyone knows what fax is. Next we have our search criteria, which can either be number or locality. That pretty much means if you want a specific area code or a specific location, you can search by these two. So number, you're just going to type in the area code. Say we're in San Francisco and we want that area code, we're just going to type in 415 and match it to the first part of our number and search. What that's going to do is pull up all numbers that start with 415. In addition to searching by number, you can also search by locality, which you would just type in the name of a city and search, and it would pull up numbers from that city. So now we're gonna move on to the advanced search. So for number types, we have three different number types. A local number is a number that starts with an area code based in a specific city. This is recommended for small businesses so that if you ever make any calls using this number, it shows up as a local number. So the next number type we have is mobile. It's very similar to local, but it's used more in Europe. So if your country that you're going to be creating this number from is in Europe, most likely you will have to use mobile instead of local. And the last number we have is toll free. Um, a toll free number is a little bit more expensive per month. It's $2 as compared to one but it comes up with an 833, 844, 855 number, so it's more professional for bigger businesses that are dealing with more enterprise clients. Next, we have beta numbers. These are numbers that Twilio has recently added to their platform. Um, feel free to check this on or off, it's all personal preference. Next box we have is emergency calling. I would recommend that you select this on. I believe that most, if not all numbers already have this, but just to be safe, I would select this as on. Um, with emergency calling, the location of each account is registered with emergency services, along with a call back number in the event first responders need information. This ensures that any outbound call is connected to the nearest emergency response site. So now that we've narrowed down our searches, um, we're just gonna search for that and we're gonna find a number in San Francisco. This one looks good. It's got everything that we need. So we're gonna select buy on that number. We can see the number, double check that that's correct. We can review our capabilities. Now it's gonna be a dollar per month. So you're gonna be charged a dollar immediately. And then every month that you have this number in your account, you're gonna be charged an additional dollar. Now you don't have to upgrade your account when you create a Twilio account, it already puts $15 in there, so you can buy a number, try it out, see how everything works. Next, we have emergency calling enablement. Um, we have to check this box to agree to comply. So there's a $75 fee per emergency call that this number makes if you do not add an emergency address. It's gonna be super simple to add that, so I'll show you guys how to do that next. Uh, we're gonna buy the number because everything checks out and boom we have the number so what we're going to do we're going to hit configure and you can see up here please add an emergency address to this phone number or you may incur a $75 charge per emergency call so we're going to scroll down to where it says emergency address is not registered we're going to add an emergency address. You just click that little plus, fill out your address, and we have our address. We're going to click that we acknowledge and press create. We now have our address. 
we're going to click add emergency address and it will be pending so now you can see it says emergency address registration is pending. That should take about a day and it will be confirmed. So now you have this number and you will not be charged any fees, uh, only the dollar a month.